in all honesty, to be able to start the, the chain of succession from Rebbe to Rebbe, we would really have to start with the Baal Shem Tov, Rabbi Yisrael Baal Shem Tov, who had the ability to take the teachings of the great Kabbalists, most prominently the Arizal, Rabbi Yitzchak Luria of Tzfat, and we, we'd have to start from the Baal Shem Tov, who took those teachings and made it very accessible to people. Um, his student, the Magad of Mizrich, Rabbi Dovber, but for the purposes of this discussion, we'll start from the student of the Magad of Mizrich, and who himself was a student of the Baal Shem Tov. So we'll start with Rabbi Shner Zalman of Liadi, known as the Alter Rebbe. He lived from 1745 to 1812, he was the founder and the first Rebbe of the Chabad branch of Hasidism. Um, he, he essentially took the teachings of the Baal Shem Tov and made them very accessible in a way that people can comprehend themselves the teachings of Hasidism. And he's known as also as the Baal Hatanya. He's the one that wrote a, a book of practical, applicable Kabbalah called the Tanya. Um, he lived in Lyozhna and a city called Liadi in, in White Russia. In addition to writing the Tanya, he also wrote the Shulchan Aruch, the Code of Jewish Law, which describes very simple, very clearly what the, how to act as a Jew, how to fulfill the commandments. He was, he had a son, so when he passed away, his son took over, the son is known as the middle Rebbe, the middle Rebbe, because he's in between his father and the next Rebbe, which we'll find out about in a moment. Rabbi Dovber of Lubavitch, his name was, he's from the city of Lubavitch. And he lived from 1773 to 1827. He is the second Chabad Rebbe. And his son-in-law took over after him. His son-in-law's name was Rabbi Menachem Mendel, the Tzemach Tzedek. In general, the way it worked, from the Alter Rebbe down through all seven generations, is that either a son would be the successor or a son-in-law. In the case of Rabbi Menachem Mendel of Lubavitch, the Tzemach Tzedek, who lived from 1789 to 1866, he was a son-in-law of Rabbi Tov Ber of Lubavitch, but he was also a direct grandson of the Alter Rebbe. So the Alter Rebbe had a daughter whose child is Rabbi Menachem Mendel, so he's a grandson of the first Chabad Rebbe, but he also married his uncle's daughter, Rabbi Tzemchaya Mushka. So he married his first cousin, and became the son-in-law also of his the son-in-law of his uncle, and that's how he became the successor, the third Chabad Rebbe. He's known as the Tzamach Tzedek, based on a book that he authored, um, which which he became known by the, the, the he's known as the Rebbe the Tzamach Tzedek. His son, Rabbi Shmuel of of the city of Lubavitch, known as the Maharash, which is an abbreviation, an acronym for his name. Rabbi Shmuel of Lubavitch lived from 1834 to 1882. He's the fourth Rebbe of Chabad Lubavitch. His son, the fifth Rebbe, Rabbi Shalom Dovber of Lubavitch, known as the Rebbe Rashab. He's the fifth leader, lived from 1860 to 1920. He's the one that founded the yeshiva system in, Laba in, the, in the Chabad Lubavitch movement, known as Tomchei Temimim, which is a, a name that implies that these students would be learning the entire spectrum of Torah learn not just the Talmud, but also learn Hasidic philosophy, to learn the, the teachings of the Kabbalah in an applicable way. And um, his son was the sixth Chabad Rebbe, Rabbi Yosef Yitzchak of Lubavitch. Rabbi Yosef Yitzchak Schneerson, um, I, I, one of the, our, our subscribers commented about the, the naming of these individuals. The name Shnei Uri, which in those days it wasn't common necessarily to have a last name, a family, a family name, a surname. Um, 
Schneer was the name of the first Rebbe, Rabbi Schneer Zalman. So his son became known as Schneeuri, which means that he just comes from, his father's name is Schneer. And then Schneeuri became Schneer's son, which again is a reference to the fact that they come from the first Rebbe in, in this line, in this dynasty, is Schneer Zalman. So Rabbi Yosef Yitzchak Schneer's son was the sixth Rebbe of Lubavitch. He lived from 1880 to 1950. He lived in Lubavitch. Eventually he moved, he was in Warsaw in Poland, and then to, he went to New York and he was there for, for 10 years, post-Holocaust, from actually from 1940 to 1950, those last 10 years. And then his son-in-law, he had a daughter, he had three daughters. One of his daughters, Rabbi Chaya Mushka, was married to a, a Rabbi Menachem Mendel. He, he, was, he was the same name, he was named after the Tzemach Tzedek, the third Chabad Rebbe. And... Um, he is the seventh leader of Lubavitch. He commented in his first discourse that the seventh generation is considered to be very, very significant. Moses, Moshe, Rabbeinu, Moshe, our teacher, the first great leader of the Jewish people, was a seventh in a line of great people. And he, being the seventh, was able to bring godliness into the world, into the tabernacle, into the Mishkan. And... The Rebbe made, uh, came out with this uh, mission statement that we, the seventh generation, have the, the absolute responsibility to finish the job that was started seven generations ago, seven Rebbe's ago, and that is to bring Mashiach. So in response to the, to the end of, of, the, of, the, of the question that, 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 that was brought in the comments, um, the Rebbe made it very, very clear that until we fulfill our purpose, this generation's purpose, uh, our focus should constantly be on finishing off the job, and therefore there's, there was no talk about succession or having a successor, because uh, until the job is complete, this Rebbe remains our leader and remains our, 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 our Rebbe, our absolute guide, and, 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 and the one who is constantly keeping us motivated to finish off this job that we started so many years ago back in the in the early 1800s in the late 1700s so when in general when people refer to the rebbe today they're referring to the the seventh rebbe the seventh rebbe that 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 who who is the seventh one from the first the altar rebbe